Welcome back to Mile Town, where this week we take on Eastern Athletic again in the league. We look to pick up three points and maintain our title challenge. We're away up at Shellness, a notoriously bad pitch for weather, but hopefully it turns out to be a nice day and we can pick up the win. It's Eastern to get us underway here. Last week they came back into the game very, very late. Uh, we started well but drifted off. Hopefully we can start just as well today, but it doesn't look that way with a poor pass from Alfie there going out of play. We've got an Eastern throw in here just inside of the mile town. Half plays to feet, straight back to the thrower, and Arnott's able to win it back there. Here we've got Ben Morris on the ball, who's making his first appearance. We signed him in the summer. He's a very, very good player, but his Saturday commitments have ruled him out so far this season. It's good to have him back as we see him driving forward with the ball here. Unfortunately, he loses out to an Eastern player, but Luke is able to win it back. He's looking for an option, doesn't have one, so he's had to turn back. Finds Arnott again. Arnott loses out to Easton's number 15. It does slip over. It's Dwayne on the ball here, looking over the top to find Ben. But it's well headed away by the Easton defender and out for a mile town corner. We've got Dwayne with a mile town corner here, looking to give us an early lead, finding someone in the box. But unfortunately, the referee does blow up here for an Easton free kick for a push. It's another Easton throw in now. And at this point, we haven't really started uh, great. We haven't put our foot on the ball. We've not been able to get it down. As you can see, the ball's being played in the air constantly. Headers being one by Eastern, one by us. You know, no one's really getting the ball down, putting a foot on the ball, and trying to play some decent football. It's a nice pitch, it's a flat pitch, lays down on the pitch, and they look after it very, very well. But we've not really taken advantage of that so far, as we can see Eastern on the attack here. If the ball flowed into the box, Jay doesn't really manage to get it clear properly. Another sort of half clearance by Joff. Number 16 looks to get a shot away, doesn't do so. Jack clears it. Number 16 does get a shot away, and it's just past the post for a goal kick. Eastern piling on more pressure here with a throw in about 20 yards out. Throw in doesn't quite find anyone. Comes to the number 14. Runs into Jack. Bit of a coming together, but Eastern have won a penalty here. Let me know what you think. Is it a penalty? I'm not too sure, but the referee's given it and we've got to go with that decision. It's Danny Rumble to step up for Eastern. Matt, he's got a good record of saving penalties. But unfortunately, this one does go in and it's Eastern Athletic 1, Mile Town 0. Ben Morris gets us back underway here after going down early. We've not really started well. We're not awake yet. We didn't prepare well for this game. Uh, a few players turned up quite late due to traffic and getting onto the island. And, you know, just, just poor preparation all round, which isn't great. You know, you want to start a game from the first minute. And too many times this season, we haven't started early enough. We've waited to go a couple of goals down. And Eastern are a tough side. They're not going to allow us to get back into this game easily. So we really, really need to start to wake up now. As Dwayne's on the edge of the area, tries to put the ball into the box. Doesn't do so well blocked by the Eastern player. But Dwayne's managed to win it back. He's looking for an option. Can't quite find one. No one's looking to make that run. So Dwayne gets a shot away. Hits Lukey. And Eastern do clear it. So we've got Eastern player out here on the right. Looking to beat Joff. But Joff wins that ball back well. Looking for an option. No one's really coming to feet, so Joff's had to turn and try and run with it, but it's well won back here in the midfield by Easton Athletic. Uh, Dwayne's in there to try and win the ball back. He does just that. Lays it off out here to Arnott, into Joffy. Joffy's looking to return it to Arnott. Arnott's breaking down his right-hand side. Uh, he's sold the Easton number four. Looking for a foul, doesn't get it. Arston, Arnott's looking to cut in. Number 16 wins it, and apparently it's a goal kick. From that goal kick, Easton managed to win a corner right up the other end. Uh, it's not really cleared here by Mile Town, and I believe it's Michael Sidwell who does tuck that away to make it Eastern Athletic 2, Mile Town 0. Ben gets us back underway here as we find ourselves 2 0 down very early on. There's only about 20 minutes gone at this point, if that, and we've just not turned up yet. We haven't prepared very well for this game. You know, we were only started to warm up five minutes before kickoff due to the lateness. Um, but take nothing away from Eastern, they've been quality. They've turned up, they've been on it for a minute one, they've been up for the fight. Um, you might hear in the background their coach just egging them on non-stop, getting them right up for the fight. And that's exactly what happened. Eastern were more up for it than we were, especially in the first half an hour. Um, towards the end of this second half, uh, first half, we did come into it a little bit more. But again, Eastern had just been given too much room, able to get shots away, which isn't really what we want. We've got Luke with a free kick here, plays it along the ground, looks for a mile town player, but only looked like there was two in the box there. I'm not really too sure why. Number nine turns well there, looks to drive forward. Arnott's tracking him well, keeping up with his pace. He's looking for an option, does play out wide. I'm not sure it is out wide, but looks to get across in. Well blocked by Jordan. Doesn't quite get it clear, but it's into the hands of Matty. A little flick from Ben there into Lukey. Lukey plays through ball into Dwayne. Dwayne's been pushed out wide, wider than he'd like. A square ball, looks to find Luke, but the Eastern keeper's there. 
We've got Ben on the ball again here now, and number 16 hassling him. Ben's able to hold on to the ball well, despite the number 16 sort of grabbing at him a little bit, but he gets on with it. Arnold knocks it into Jay here. Jay looking for the ball and finds Dwayne over the top here. Luckily enough, the Eastern defender can't quite control it, so Dwayne's able to latch onto the ball. He's looking for someone into the box. Uh, there doesn't seem to be many in there. Does find Joffy not able to control his header, and Easton do get it clear, but it's only as far as Ben, who picks the ball up in the midfield. He's got loads of time here. Who's he going to pick out? He's going to look for the ball over the top, and unfortunately, Easton picked that one out and are able to get it clear. Matty here looking to go long, drops into the midfield here and back to Easton. We're giving the ball away way too easily. Uh, we got. I think that was Joff on the ball, looking to play it through to Luke. He's one-on-one -on -one here, cuts inside, stick it anywhere, but straight into the keeper's hands. We've got Jay Moore here with a free kick, just wide of the penalty box. He's going to look to find a mile town head, or maybe he'll go for the shot. He does shoot, and straight into the hands of the Eastern goalkeeper. Luke is looking to take a corner here. He puts it into the box. Jordan Moore wins the header onto the crossbar, and Eastern are able to get it clear. Easton with their defender taking a goal kick here, typical Sunday league. Uh, no one really latches onto the ball in the midfield, which is poor from both sides, really. Ben Morris wins it back. It's a poor pass from Dwayne, an equally poor clearance from Easton, and that is half time. It's Easton Athletic 2, Mile Town 0. We have been absolutely dreadful in this half. We've come back into it towards the end, but Easton have been quality, and they're deserved leaders at half time. As it's half time, go and subscribe to the channel for weekly Sunday League content. And if you want to follow us on the socials, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at MileTownFC. We've rejoined the second half. We have an East Athletic goal kick that's played into the midfield off of Luke Rowland's back, back to the Eastern number three. A little ball over the top here drops into the midfield now with the Eastern number nine and Jack Bridger challenging for it. Uh, number nine does come clear with it, looking to get a shot away. Maybe a little trip there. Jordan's coming out with a ball and looks to get it clear. Maybe a penalty. Maybe not, we're not too sure. An East Athletic throw in now, again, cleared by Frank Heath. Only as far as the number six for Easton, who heads it back towards the Eastern front line. Again, cleared by Jordan. Uh, the Eastern player looks to play it in over the top to number eight. Looks to get a shot away, and it's cleared by Jack Bridger. We've got Matty playing it long here into the midfield. Drops to Arnott. Arnott turns here. Uh, looks to play a through ball out to Kano. Does find Kane who beats the defender, looking for through ball to Luke. Luke beats his man. A little bit of a push there, not enough for a penalty, but straight through to the Eastern goalkeeper. We've got Alfie, I believe, with a throw out there. Only as far as an Eastern head. Comes to Frank, who's not able to get control of the ball. So Eastern are piling forward now, looking to put the pressure on our back line. Big counter-attack. Plays it across to the Eastern player on the other side of the pitch. Not too sure who it is out there. Can't quite get a shot away. Plays into number 10, who still can't get a shot away. Back out to the number 8 now, who looks to beat Kane. Kane holds his ground well, able to force him back. Uh, he does manage to get across in eventually, but I believe that's cleared by Joffy, not as far as he'd like. Easton with another shot away there, and Luke is able to start breaking for Mile Town. Uh, through to Brett, who is offside. Easton with a free kick and another chance to put the ball into the box. Does just that, finds an Easton head straight into the back of the net, but the referee blows up for a foul. Easton will feel hard done by, and it remains 2 0. We've got Easton here picking up at the back, plant out towards their left back now, looking to get forward and try and add a third. Uh, Jay's able to hold him up here, but he's able to turn him. Uh, done really well on the ball here, does play it forward. Frank isn't able to get it under control. Drops to number nine, who's got way too much room in the midfield. Causes Jordan to come out of position. Number nine does beat him, gets his shot away. And that is Easton Athletic 3, mild town nil. Well deserved. We've been awful so far, and it's a reversal last week. So 3-0 down, Brett gets us back underway here. We're looking to come back into it, do what Easton did last week. Luke with a free kick here and a chance to put the ball into the box and maybe grab an early goal back straight after going 3-0 down. But the referee blows up for a free kick and Easton have a chance to clear their lines. We've got Frank with a throw out there who finds Jack Bridger. Easton are backing off now as we're looking to push forward and try and get back into the game. Jack plays it forward, uh, finds Joffy. Joffy's going to turn here and look to play a crossfield ball. Doesn't quite find his man, but the Eastern player can't quite win the header. Drops to Brett. One touch. Bang. Bottom right hand corner. Eastern Athletic 3. Mile Town 1. Maybe we've got a chance. So Eastern gets back underway. We're still looking to get another goal. Maybe put the pressure on towards the end and get a point out of this. As number 8 beats two players there. Able to just knock it past Brett. Just walks through the midfield. I don't know what the two lads are doing there. Uh, there's no one there to meet him. There's no holding midfielder. 
Uh, he's able to get a really good shot away, and Jack Bridger makes an absolutely phenomenal block there with his head. Uh, he's brilliant. He, he's kept us in this game, as you'll see here. Another clearance, uh, or another challenge, should I say, from Bridger, able to keep us in the game and stop East. And uh, there may be a fourth or a fifth. Uh, he looks to get it back into the box there. We're able to get it clear. Uh, we've got the Eastern goalkeeper here looking to play it forward. Drops to number nine, who misses the ball. Jordan McHale is able to hold him up a little bit. He cuts back inside. Jordan's still with him. Hold him up. He's not going anywhere yet. Jordan's defending really well here. Joff's dropped back now. Um, number nine still on the ball. How we haven't won the ball back yet, I do not know. But it's only as far as Matty, who makes a brilliant save. Now, this is something you do not see very often in Sunday League football. Number five gets his shot away. It's the bar once. Comes down. It's the bar again. Matty's able to tip it over. And the referee blows up for a foul on the goalkeeper. Eastern with another defender taking a goal kick here. Typical Sunday league into the midfield. Uh, it drops there. Jack Bridger wins the challenge really well. Uh, the number eight is able to pick it back up. And it's only as far as Jack again, who's steaming forward a bit now. Goes full force into that 50-50. The ball's powered forward. Uh, it's falling to Luke. He's not able to keep it. And Easton have got the ball again now. Dino's able to win it back. Dino actually turned up with 10 minutes to go in this game. Uh, he was working in Dartford. Nice of him to turn up and help with the course towards the end. Uh, we do appreciate that. As we see Dwayne driving forward into the box. Falls to Dino. He's able to get a shot away, but it's blocked by the number eight. Who's had a really good game today, I must admit. Like, I think their number nine has had a good game as well. The two of them have been key. As we see Bridger coming forward here. Plays it out towards Arnott, I believe. Again, blocked by an Eastern player. Nice little flick there from Frank. Uh, back to Bridger. Slips with the ball out wide. Uh, I believe it's with Kane now. We can't quite see. And Eastern are able to get it clear. It's the number eight with a fruit ball forward here. Jack Bridger goes into a big challenge with a number nine. Unfortunately, number nine wins it. He's 1-1 one -one with Matty. Matty makes himself big saves with his feet well. As far as number 10, blocked by Jordan. Only as far as he's to number 12. We can't quite get the ball clear here. He's looking to get a shot away. And Bridger's there. Maybe it should have been a foul there, but we didn't quite get it. Um, Dwayne's able to start to bring the ball away here. He's looking for someone. Uh, he's not got many options. He looks to play over the top here. Who does he look for? He's looking for Brett, I believe. Drops here to Luke. Luke's one-on-one -on -one with the player out here, out wide. Cuts inside instead. Looks to play it across and Easton clear. We've got Easton with a free kick here after an offside decision. Uh, Jack Bridger wins a header. Drops to Dwayne. Dwayne's able to take the ball down. Maybe a handball there, but we play on. Plays it into Jordan. Jordan's looking with an outside of the foot pass through to Lukey. Lukey plays it out to Kane. Kane's going to look to get the ball into the box here to Brett. Brett takes the ball. Looks to finish, but unfortunately he's called offside. We got Arnold looking to put a free kick into the box here, looking to find a mile town head. Easton don't really deal with this. The keeper drops it. Jordan Moore's there to tap it in, and that is Easton Athletic three, mile town two. Jordan's looking to pick the ball up. The keeper makes a nice big dive for it here, stops him from getting the ball, and we're looking, maybe looking at rescuing a point from this game. So Easton taking centre with only a couple of minutes left. He goes for the long shot, goes out for a goal kick. And this is where a game can change in a matter of moments. Matty takes the goal kick here. Only as far as Easton number four when he plays a through ball. Matty with an opportunity to pick it up here. Doesn't do so. Poor clearance. I believe it's the number nine latches onto it here. Matty brings him down. It's a penalty. Do you think he should have been sent off for this? That is a big question. He does get sent off for this and Jack Bridge has to go in goal. But I'm going to slow it down for you. Do you think this is a red card? We have a player on the line and a player covering. Okay. Now, a penalty, without a doubt, you know, a penalty's got to be given. But should he be sent off in this circumstance? Do you think there's enough players covering? He goes for the ball, doesn't quite get it. It's unfortunate. We've spoken to the referee. We can understand why he's given the red card. He won't be appealing it. But just what do you guys think? Is this punishable by a red card? So as Danny Rumble's looking to step up and tuck away his third of the game, Easton's fourth. He does just that, just under Jack Bridger, and that is Easton Athletic four, Mile Town two. two so we get the game back underway after conceding a fourth. Um, Jack Bridger's been brilliant today. He even wanted to go and go for the penalty. He nearly saved it as we see a free kick put into the box here. The referee blows up for full time, and it's finished Easton Athletic four, Mile Town two. Uh, thanks to Easton for another great game. Two weeks on the trot, we've had a, we've had brilliant games. Um, best of luck until we meet again in the return fixture in the league later on in March.